Hello, hello, Brad at Yamaha Marine Center in Orange Park on Wells Road, right off of 295. Share a building with BMW Ducati at Jacksonville and across the street from Adam McCarley. Last of the three boats we got in today is the most popular one in the Key West lineup right now. The 239 FS, which stands for Family Sportsman Series. Which that means to me, it likes to do a little bit of everything. Cruising, fishing, a really pretty boat. Very, very deep entry. Lifting strakes, running strakes, whatever you want to refer to them. Boat should run really nice. Big reverse chine. And again, with that big Key West flare. All comes in to help keep you nice and dry. Nice stainless rub rail on this one. A little integrated nav lights. Big hard top. With LED lighting. I think it has rigid spreaders, speakers. Nice and thick too, looks really substantial. Uh, everything comes with the boat that you see except the trailer. I uh, checked the website for pricing. Wow, this one got pretty dirty too. Just got shipped in today, sorry about the condition of it. But put a 250 Yamaha four stroke digital electronic control. The boat does come with a prop, just back order from Yamaha right now. If you've tried to order one from Yamaha anytime in the past couple of years, you probably went through the same thing. Uh, splash well drains. Live wheel drains, bilge plug. Looks like it's about a 19 to 24 degree boat, depending on where you look. So it should have a really nice ride. Integrated Lenco trim tabs, a uh, little rear storage bucket back here. Sun's affecting us right now. That way you can uh, maybe put some drinks and stuff in there when you're cruising around. The sandbars, nice big splash well, keep water out of the boat. Uh, the boat is 23 feet 9 inches overall, 8 foot 6 in the beam, 25 inch transom, and about 3,000 pounds. Uh, should draft somewhere around 14 inches, hold 100 gallons of fuel. It is rated up to a 300 horsepower engine. So if you wanted to go bigger, we can always order you one. Give you a nice look at the shear line on the boat. It's really pretty. Entering the boat, we have removable pads back here, so when you're entering from the transom, you can have those off so we don't step on. And put them on when you're ready to cruise to the sandbar. Door closes all the way for the backrest. Cushions go on, and you have a nice big closed transom with seating. And then if you do plan to fish the boat, well, you just take the cushions off, and you have a big live well. LED lights, round edges so we don't go killing baits. And then you have some storage with power assist steering, wash down pumps. You see a nice finish on both sides of these doors. That way you don't get some nasty looking fiberglass in there friction hinges so there's no shocks to get in the way just more storage in here wiring it seems to be really nice and clean on all these boats combing pads bolsters all around the boat huge cockpit area you could fit probably four people fishing back here nice cooler under the seat igloo 94 plenty of room under the the gunnel here to store rods, tools, gaffs, nets, just about anything you need. Very well laid out boat. High gunnel height, keep you in the boat. Recess integrated handholds, keep them off the gunnel so you're not tripping over them or anything like that. If you had to walk up there at all, get up to the hard top or something. Yamaha gauges, nice switch panel, tilt hydraulic power assist steering. Yamaha Binnacle, Lenco, LED tactile switch, Jensen stereo, I think this one's a four speaker setup, two in the top, two in the side, something like that, if I'm not mistaken, but nice e-box on the hard top, again some fiberglass dust, sorry about that, switches on the hard top, you can see, I think those are two or three color LEDs, Rocket launchers, you got rod holders all over this thing. High-end rigid LED spreaders. 
wonder why this is the most popular boat in their lineup right now. And then coming to the bow, nice room walking through here, even with the hard top legs protruding a little bit. I usually like it better when they're on the, the side of the console, but this you still have plenty of room without stubbing your toes because the gunnel kind of goes straight up and down instead of jutting out a little bit. Has some storage in here. Cooler space if you want to use it for that. Bow cushions with removable backrests. There's places to stow those inside of the head compartment. Cushions are removable just like the back. Just snap in. And more storage all in the bow of the boat. Anchor locker with anchor. Nothing under here, just a step, get to the bow of the boat, get some cup holders, more storage on that side. Checking the floor storage here, Let's see what we got. Huge space, looks like, gotta pull the drain plug on that guy. Five gallon bucket down there. Good area for storage, larger items. And the head compartment here is a little porta potty room. We want the garbage in it now. And then we got, these are actually the uh, storage compartments for the backrests. And then fresh water tank, some more pumps down here. And then just like all the other boats, they kind of hide their wiring with this little canvas panel. But for the job they do, they do a really nice job keeping the wires clean, pretty organized. And then batteries go down there again, trying to keep the weight centralized. Should be a pretty good model for us. Bolsters flip down for seating and then up, use as a leaning post. If there's anything else you want to see specifically on this boat or any others, you can always give us a call at 904 644 7631. All the pricing and all these boats will be on our website at 904, <laughs> that's our phone number, at uh, yamahamarinejax.com.